this once, but the camera the whole time was cutting me off here. I know I'm not the prettiest person on the planet, but I figured that was a little dumb not to have my face in it and just have my lower body in it. So, round two. Today, you're joining me. I've been doing core drilling here in this gymnasium here. It's a volleyball gym. They hold tournaments. You can probably see some of the uh, picture, uh, posters on the wall. Um, it's the local volleyball club. And they've had, for a long time, uh, holes where the poles are, but they're close to the courts. They're only 18 inches away from the court. And to be regulation, they need to be three feet away from the court. So I've been moving the, the holes an extra foot and a half away from the court so they can have bigger tournaments here because they'll need the reg regulations. So I'm just going to take you through the process of self setting up the core drill and maybe some other shenanigans, who knows. But I've got pretty much everything I need here. Um, I am going to cut out, i got to go fill up the water tank, I'll cut that out. But So this is the core drill. Right now, I've got it here just because I just finished the other one. Gotta get it set up for this one. So just turn it back on its back. And it's got this O ring. It's really more foam than rubber, but it's what seals it to the ground. So you gotta make sure it's in here and it's good. And I, I go ahead and wipe around it, make sure there's no debris, because any little rock or dust will make it not seal very well. Got that cleared off. Now I can stand it back up. As you can see there. Lower this down just so it's held in place. And now I've got to measure and see where I'm putting this hole. So we want the pole three foot from the court, but we want that to be the inside of the pole. So that means the center of my hole needs to be at 37 and 3 quarters. Um, that way we'll definitely have enough distance from the court where everything should be good. So I'm just going to center this. We've got a nice seam going down the entire gym because there's basically this is where they wanted it to crack. And so that's how I know where my center is. But I'm using my tape measure just to line up where the 37 and 3 quarters is. If I've got this done right, it's going to start sucking immediately. Sometimes it doesn't seal very good. There we go. I was holding my tongue the right way. So now it's sucked to the bottom, it's not going anywhere. That way, the torque of the drill, if it does get in a bind, this thing's not going to get spinning out of control. It'll just lock up and this will say lock down so I can just shut it off. For most of them, that's what it's done when I've gotten through the concrete, is it'll just lock up here. And as long as it's sealed down here, everything stops. I just switch it to off and I pull it out. So. Now that this is sucked down, um, I'm going to go ahead and go fill up my water tank. I'll cut that out because that's not interesting. Um, but yeah, this shouldn't move. And I'm also going to get this cord out of the way so I don't drill the cord. Actually, before I do any of that, this has a bubble on it, so you can level this up to make sure you're going perfectly straight into the ground. And right now it's a little out of level. I need to bring it this way. So it's got bolts on it that I can just crank up and adjust. So move my vacuum across the 
in my way. I'm just going to pre-wet the floor a little bit. Way too much. Perfect. Y'all know who does that. You can just watch that mess. So, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set up my vacuum. I'm going to put it on automatic. And by that, I mean... It has plenty of suction, it's going to suck up anything that I don't want. And the hose plumbed into this leak, so it mostly just has water coming off this side. So I've just got it laying here next to it, and I'm going to turn it on, and it'll suck up everything. I'll clean up the rest afterwards. But I'm going to turn it on automatic. Y'all probably aren't going to be able to hear anything. I'm going to let you know when I'm one, two, three, and four inches deep. That's about as thick as this pad is. Then you'll see this stop, and that's probably going to be where I'm through. And then I'll tell you how I get it out. Alright? Enjoy. Here we go. Exactly what you don't want to happen. Well, let's see if you can't straighten your back out. Seal's still good.
pull out the encourager. Because the one's free. There's two sides of this core. The one's free, the other's not. So I'm going to give it some encouragement. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I have occasionally gone and gotten a manicure with my wife, but this is the reason I need manicures probably 10 times more often than I get them, doing stuff just like this. Concrete's not easy on the hands. But isn't that what the hammer sure was? So I'm going to show you the new hole. So that's the old one. It's already got a sleeve in it. This one is going to get a sleeve. I'm going to dig that out. And then I'm going to put a sleeve in it and concrete around it so it'll be solid. I'm going to get dug down a good bit more. That's going to be the next fun thing to do. But that is how to use a core drill in a gymnasium, a volleyball gym. Now I've got one more to do. Hopefully this comes out good. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks.